Hello everyone, welcome to lesson 12 of C programming on the Mac. In this tutorial, I'm going to be covering uh, function returns. So, so far we've learned how to call a function in our main function here, and when we called it, uh, we could either have no parameters or we could uh, give it certain information that it can use. So, um, if we had a void void in our parameters, that means it could just self-run and it wouldn't take in any information, or we could also um, give it certain information to use like we did in the last tutorial. But we haven't figured out a, a way to return information into our main function here. So um, basically that's what you're going to learn in this. So it's called function returns and that's what we're going to learn. And if you haven't realized already, I've increased this font size. Um, somebody in a previous tutorial said, uh, could you zoom in to the tutorial or the actual uh, what you're writing? And I pretty much don't want to do that just for the sake of going up to run and then going to the console and then running the whole thing. I just prefer to have it all zoomed out. And plus I find it uh, degrades the quality a little bit. But anyway, it, um, point being, if you think I should be... Uh, if I should increase this font size or go back to the old one, uh, just give me your input on that. All right, uh, comments. Yep. Anyway, thanks. So, uh, moving on to what we're actually going to learn. So, before we've always used a void return type, which when we're creating our functions, which means that we're not giving any information back to our main function, and obviously that needs to change if we want to actually return information. So we can do this by just using um, type int, or we could use double, or something else that we learn later on, uh, diff basically different primitive types. Uh, so um, yeah, so that's what we're going to learn in this. So um, for the point of this tutorial, we're going to use an int to return, so that means the information that it's going to give back to the main function will be an integer. So um, in this tutorial, we're going to square a number. So we're just going to call this uh, square. Or, yeah, we're going to call it square. And then uh, in the parameters, we'll just give it an int, and we'll call it num1. And that will be um, our how a function looks. So the only real difference here is that it's not a void return type. It's now an int, because we're not returning nothing. We're returning an integer. So not much new there. And when we're calling this function, um, we don't do anything different either. We just do square, and then we uh, do like we did in the last tutorial. We put in our information for the parameters, or our argument. So we insert a 4, and then just a semicolon to end it off there. So uh, obviously not much new yet. Uh, we haven't really uh, learned anything other than the return type. That's all that's different so far. Okay, so uh, now we just copy exactly how our um, function prototype looks up here and uh, it's all fine and now we just have to define what this actually does so we're going to use um, we're going to use uh, we're not actually going to make a variable to store this what we can do um, we can also make a variable but what we're just going to do is just do the return statement so all this means is that it's going to return whatever information comes after this. So what I'm going to do, num1 times num1 again, and that is squaring a number. If you haven't figured that out, 4 times 4 is 16. Same thing as squaring the number 4, and 4 squared is 16, so that's the same thing. So num1 times num1, num1 will give us our value of 16, and the return is what gives us the number back. So here, when we have a return 0, that ends our program. But now we're returning a different, um, we're returning a different value. If you wanted to end this program, we could just say return 0, but we're going to give back, we're going to give back from this method a new value to this main main function here. So. Um, as you can see, it's going to return a value of 16, and we can do, if we wanted to print this value out, uh, we could do multiple things here. So we could say 4, uh, four squared, ooh, 4 squared is uh, equal to, and then we could put in our variable there, and be percent %d for integer. Now we could do this in a multitude of ways. We could do int 
uh, and just uh, so we could store our value somehow, we could call this the, um, I don't know what the heck we can call this, I'll just call it sum, it's not really a sum, I, yeah, uh, I don't know, it's a sum, it's our whatever this uh, equation equals. So we could just say sum gets the value that this uh, this function creates. So how this would work is it would go through square and then a parameter of 4, it would run whatever's in here, and it returns our value, which is 4 times 4, 16. So then this value of 16 will come back up, and sum will get this new value. So now it will have a value of 16, and then if we wanted to print this, we could just throw sum into our uh, printf. And to show how this works, we could run this, and boom, here you go, 4 squared is equal to 16. So that's one way of doing that, just storing the value into an integer. But we could also do this even another way if we wanted to. We could take out this variable, and we could even just put the actual actual um, call to the function in here. So we could just say square, and then we could put in a 4, and we could even uh, leave this function call inside this printf. But since when it goes to print this, it calls the function first and gets its return value. So it will it will it will return a value of 16. So that's technically an integer. So it will it will put in that value of 16 into our printf anyway. So when we run oops since our console is already open. So when we run this again. You'll see that it does the exact same thing. 4 squared is equal to 16. So it, it works the exact same way. So that's basically re the return value. It returns whatever value you put in. And just to show another way of doing this, if I wanted to make an integer, I'd call it sum as well down here. And if I want to uh, give sum the same value of what I did down there, um, I could just do it like this. And then I could just return this sum. And it works the same way. Basically, all you have to know is that the return value returns only one value. So it returns, um, since this is equal to 16, it will return this value of 16. And since our return type is int, it will be an integer of 16. And then it will come back into the main function here. And this new thing is basically equal to 16. And then it will input it into our printf. So 4 squared is equal to 16. And then just to show you how this works here, I'll run this. 4 squared is equal to 16. So that's the function returns. If you have any questions, uh, just leave a comment or send a message, one or the other. And uh, thumbs up the video, and please subscribe to the channel. Alright, thanks.